I've talked about uh, human attention perception as like aiming a flashlight, uh, a, a narrow beam flashlight at, at something that's directing your attention. Well, an, another aspect of, of perception that I find helpful to know and apply to my creative efforts is is the figure ground relationship. While I, I sh can shift my flashlight beam and focus my attention, uh, when I've focused it on something, then I can look at things from different points of view in the figure ground relationship, which is a similar but different kind of perception shift. Uh, like like when, when doing a jigsaw puzzle, you, you're looking at the colors and the patterns on the piece, and then at some point you, you shift and you're looking at the shape of the puzzle piece itself. Well, it, it's like that. Um, back in 1915, a Danish psychologist named Edgar Rubin studied this kind of mental shift. Uh, he called it a gestalt shift. And he created a Rubin vase illustration to illustrate the idea and looked at one way it looked like a vase. And then a mental shift happens, and and it looks like two people looking at each other in profile. And I think having a creative practice means deliberately playing with this puzzle-like aspect of your own perceptions. Now, this is easier said than done, which is why I call it a practice and use that word a lot. But I do these creative puzzle shifts by going back and forth between words and pictures. So even if I'm making a painting, just a visual painting, no words on it, I will still uh, use the written word, notes on a separate sheet of paper, to think through my, my visual image. And similarly, when I'm writing a poem, I will, I will sometimes draw things and, and think uh, visually what I'm trying to say using just words. Um, I call this my a creative figure ground therapeutic conversation that I have with myself. Um, most crucially, it's just an awareness that I can adjust both the flashlight angle of my attention, and then I can shift and fine tune my my perception of the figure ground words and pictures shifts. Um, that awareness helps me to relax. So whenever I mess up a drawing or mess up a poem, I can just adjust something and start again, like a puzzle. I, I remember to breathe and, and just play with, with the words and images, like, like doing a, a jigsaw puzzle or a crossword puzzle. And anyway, I, I, I hope this concept helps you in your creative practice too. Have fun. You can do this.